Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name's Sophie and I would love it if you hit that big red subscribe button down below. Now this video is going to be about all of the French language shows which I have watched, enjoyed and recommend that you watch in order to learn more French and practice those French listening skills. Or just watch with English subtitles if you just looking for something to watch and aren't necessarily learning French. So it's about time that I made this video seeing as I've already made one about all of the German shows and the Spanish shows um, which I recommend and well if I didn't make this video it would look like that I'm favoritizing those two languages which I'm definitely not it just took me a bit longer to get around to filming this video as it just so happens that I haven't watched as many French shows as I have German and Spanish purely because I've been studying French for less time not because I don't like French um, so yeah it's about time that I filmed this video and I'm actually wearing the perfect top for it today you can't see very well because it's kind of out of shot I'll show you now it's my Paris top so I wanted to separate this video into separate categories depending on where you can stream each of these shows However, when I first wrote my list of all of the different shows that I recommend, I realised that all of the shows that I have watched, which are in French, are on Netflix. So yeah, all of the shows which I can personally recommend are on Netflix. However, I did have a look on Amazon Prime and I did find a French language show on there. Um, but when I watched the trailer, I didn't really... It wasn't saying anything to me so I didn't watch it because if I'm bored in the trailer I'm not going to be able to sit there and watch the entire show but I thought I'd mention it quickly just in case some of you have Amazon Prime but don't have Netflix. Um, I'm not recommending this show but um, yeah if you have Amazon Prime maybe I recommend you watch the trailer to see if you enjoy it because just because I didn't find the trailer interesting doesn't mean that you won't find the trailer interesting and you might find the show interesting. So the show was called uh, Verburu um, and yeah I just didn't find the trailer interesting um, to be honest. Anyway now moving on to the shows which are on Netflix that I can actually personally recommend as I'm assuming that's what you came here for right? For my recommendations? I'm assuming so. Anyway moving on to those. So the first show which you can stream on Netflix which I recommend is Le Plan Cure or the hookup plan in English. So this one is your French rom-com set in Paris, the city of love. However, there is actually a bit of a twist to this rom-com um, because it is about um, a girl called Elsa who, well, is single and um, her friend pays a prostitute to go on dates with her. Um, but of course doesn't tell her that um, she's paying um, this guy or that he's a prostitute um, so you can see where that might be interesting there. The second show to have made it on this list is called Family Business. This show is a comedy about a family, well you could probably guess it was about a family from the title of the show, um, but yeah anyway it's about a family who own a butcher shop and um, one of them hears a rumour um, about weed getting legalised in France that is going to be legalised in France so yeah convinces the rest of the family, convinces his dad that um, they're gonna turn the butcher shop into a weed shop and um, start planning to do that um, before they officially hear whether or not it's been legalised so you can see how um, that could maybe potentially be funny and how things could go wrong because well really was it going is it going to be legalised and how are they going to prepare for it before it's legalised. The next show that I want to talk about is Le Mans. This one is a crime and well there are so many different crime shows on Netflix that if you like crime shows and you're looking to watch shows in French and you haven't got Netflix already you should probably get 
a Netflix subscription because it's the place for you. So Le Monde is basically about a bunch of murders that happened in the past that were committed by a serial um, killer called, I want to say Jean Deba, but it's been a while since I watched the show and I'm really bad at remembering names, <laughs> so I could be wrong, um, but yeah. And basically um, a copycat. There's a copycat in the present day when um, the show is set who is basically copying all of these murders and it's about finding out who is the copycat and um, in order to do that they have the investigator who is the son of the original serial killer and um, yeah they have him ask his mum who's in prison in this weird cell that looks like a posh fancy house thing, loads of questions, I don't get why she's in a nice big house to be honest, um, but yeah, it's very interesting and yeah I highly recommend that you watch it. The next show that I want to talk about is La Forêt or The Forest. The show is about um, disappearances that happen in this town that's well near the forest. So basically this girl called Jennifer um, goes disappearing in the forest and um, um, the police are obviously start an investigation looking for her and um, one of the policewoman's um, daughters, um, her daughter um, Maya goes missing as well. Um, so yeah it's about disappearances that happen and also it's about this girl called Eve who um, works in the school where these girls um, who went missing um, went and um, yeah basically it's about her learning about her past because well she has this weird kind of strange connection to the forest and she helps them and she helps the police with the investigation so yeah so the next show that i want to mention is mortel um i don't really know how to describe this show as a lot goes on and it's been a while since i watched it and i don't really want to spoil anything either it's i don't know it's a bit weird it's hard to disguise to to describe um so yeah it's basically about um this guy called um sofian who well a guy he's he's like 16 i think he's a kid still so yeah it's about this teenage guy called sofian whose brother has gone missing and then one day he kind of sees this weird kind of like spiritual thing i want to say voodoo voodoo thing i don't know there's some weird voodoo vibe going on throughout this the whole of this um this show and he's called obi and he has like these weird like <laughs> little red eye things and yeah basically he tells him to kill somebody if i'm remembering correctly so then he goes to kill this other kid from school but then doesn't i think he tells him he has to kill him if he wants to see his brother i think that's it because his brother's gone missing but anyway he ends up making this weird pack thing with this other kid called victor and then through that and obi they get like powers but their powers only work when they're together and so Fian just wants to find out like what happened to his brother is his brother still alive like and if he's not alive like who's responsible for it so yeah they kind of use he so Fian kind of uses victor in a way to find out that uh, because their powers only work um whilst they're together the next show that i want to mention is said du gâteau or Nailed it, France, um, which may ring a bell if you watched my videos on um, German speaking shows and f Spanish speaking shows, which um, I recommend. As um, I mentioned, Nailed it Germany and Nailed it Spain and Nailed it Mexico in those videos. So, yeah, um, Nailed it France is basically just a cake show where there's different contestants on each episode and they have to recreate um, these cakes which are really difficult to make. For example in um, one episode they had to recreate a cake of Celine Dion and they have like a strict time limit and these people they just bake their own cakes at home but they're like amateur bakers and suddenly they have to make a cake that looks like Celine Dion. So yeah it's a bit funny and 
the winner gets I want to say 2,000 euros I can't remember but they get a nice um, <laughs> a nice amount of money at the end of it so it's nice for them <laughs> now moving on to the next show which is a show which I haven't actually finished yet as I only stumbled upon it sometime last week um, I think I'm about halfway through the, now though and I do enjoy this show so I'm still going to recommend it even though I haven't finished it um, because it's good so far and um, that is Vampire, um, so vampires and well it's about vampires what else can I say there's not much that I can say really um, it's just about vampires um, more specifically it's about this girl who's 17 um, her mum's a vampire, her uh, older brother and sis sister are both vampires and she's 17 and well her mum gives her tablets to stop her from becoming a vampire she somehow thinks these antibiotics are going to stop her from becoming a vampire and she doesn't take all of her tablets and well she becomes a vampire and it's about her becoming a vampire and discovering that she's like a rare breed of vampires who can actually bear the sunlight so yeah that's one that I would recommend to anybody who likes supernatural shows um yeah not much I can say about it other than it's about vampires so those are all of the shows which I recommend on Netflix which brings this video to an end however they're not necessarily the only good shows that are on Netflix I haven't actually watched every French speaking show on Netflix there were some which I watched an episode of and didn't like so obviously I didn't recommend them or there was one there was one series that which I watched but it was just weird and I'm not going to recommend it for that reason um, because I don't even know why I watched it I think it's just because I didn't know of any other French series at the time so I just watched it despite thinking it was really weird and being confused as to what the hell was going on most of the time um, and yes yeah, some which I just haven't watched which may be really good that I don't know about and also there's loads of other French shows out there that maybe I just haven't stumbled upon which are great so if you're sitting here watching this video and you're thinking Sophie why haven't you recommended this show this is the best French language show ever um what's wrong with you um <laughs> please leave it down in the description in not the description box in the in the comment section down below because you're sitting there thinking Sophie why haven't you mentioned this you're like something's wrong with you for not mentioning this one and maybe I just don't know about this show um this great show and I can check it out and everybody else um watching this video can check it out too so yeah that's it for this video um please um I've got hair in my mouth <laughs> but no, please uh, press uh, the thumbs up button give it a thumbs up if you liked it press that big red subscribe button down below to see more videos from me um, and follow me on Instagram all of that lovely stuff and I'll see you all in the next video bye